During this presentation, you will learn about this benefit and how to take advantage of tax savings by participating in the plan. Because your employer has a flexible spending account, you have an opportunity to make choices that help you tailor your employee benefits to your family's needs and save money each year. When you participate in the flexible spending account, the amounts that you pay for health and dependent care expenses are exempt from taxes. This means your tax deductions are lower and your spendable income is higher. For most employees, flexible spending can mean hundreds of dollars more each year in their pocket. In general, you will save 15% to 31% of your redirected amount. When you participate in your employer's flexible benefit plan, you elect to have a specified amount of before-tax dollars deducted from your paycheck each pay period. Basically, there are three areas in which you can make before-tax elections. The first area is company group health insurance premiums. Before the start of each plan year, you will be able to elect some of your upcoming wages to be redirected through the plan. The money elected will be used to pay for your portion of the insurance coverage that is offered to you. The portion of your pay that is contributed to pay the premium expense is not subject to federal and state income or Social Security taxes. In other words, the plan allows you to use tax-free dollars to pay for insurance coverage, which you would normally have paid with wages after taxes withheld from your paycheck. Health insurance premiums are not managed by, that are not managed by your employer do not qualify toward this plan. The second area for pre-tax savings is unreimbursed medical expenses. And the third area for pre-tax savings is the dependent care flexible spending account. A flexible spending account may be established for reimbursement for you for any out-of-pocket medical related expenses you elect prior to the expense. Those include co-pays, deductibles, medical, dental, and vision expenses not already covered by your insurance unless considered cosmetic, eyeglasses, exams, contacts, LASIK surgery, chiropractic care, acupuncture, orthodontia, prescription drugs, and over-the-counter medication with a doctor's prescription. Each pay period, the tax amount that you elect is withheld and forwarded to the account established for you and is available for reimbursement for the above items upon submission of a valid claim. To determine what your per pay period withholding amount is, determine what you would like for your annual election amount for reimbursement. Divide the annual amount elected by the number of pay periods in the calendar year. An example of this would be $720 total annual amount elected divided by 24 pay periods is $30. This is the pre-tax amount deducted from your paycheck each payday. There are several expenses that may be associated with health or wellness that are not eligible for this benefit. You will want to make sure you do not include any of these projected expenses when calculating your estimated unreimbursed medical expenses for 2012. These include any cosmetic procedure or drugs associated with cosmetics, health club memberships or weight loss programs, any type of vitamin or supplement, hair transplants. It is important to note that as of January 1, 2011, there have been changes to over-the-counter medica medications. Over-the-counter medications and drugs other than insulin and other specified medically necessary items will no longer be a reimbursable expense through your Section 125 plan unless prescribed by your doctor. To receive reimbursement for any over-the-counter items purchased in 2012, you must submit both a receipt and a valid prescription from your provider to Zenium. Examples of over-the-counter expenses that need a prescription include antibiotics, pain relievers, cough medicine, cold medicine, anti-itch cream, and allergy medicine. Examples of over-the-counter expenses that do not need prescription include insulin, blood sugar monitor, contact lens solution, crutches, and denture bond. The second part of your benefit covers dependent care expenses. You may elect this option to reimburse your family's daycare expenses. This benefit provides reimbursement of expenses for child, elder care, or handicapped dependent care required for you or your spouse's employment or your spouse's education. Expenses can be reimbursed for live-in care, 
babysitters, day homes, and licensed daycare centers. You cannot be reimbursed for expenses paid to one of your legal dependents, i.e. your spouse or one of your children under the age of 19. The IRS allows you to elect up to $5,000 per calendar year for medically qualified expenses. Expenses may be incurred by you or your eligible dependents. The IRS also allows you to elect up to $5,000 per calendar year for eligible dependent care expenses. If you are married and filing separate, the maximum election is $2,500. Your dependent care account works differently than your unreimbursed medical account. The dependent care account works like a checking or savings account. You will only be reimbursed for what is in your account. For example, if in January you have $400 in your account, meaning you had $400 deducted from your pre-paid pre taxes, you submit a receipt for daycare in the amount of $500. You will only be reimbursed for $400, and then you will be reimbursed the additional $100 when your dependent care account has that amount to reimburse you. There are some risks associated with the Section 125 plan. The IRS requires that all funds left in the flexible spending account at the end of the plan year will be forfeited. Balances are not transferred from plan year to plan year. With careful planning, forfeitures can be avoided. Although the plan runs January 1, 2012 through Jan December 31, 2012, you have until March 15th of 2013 to incur expenses. You will need to submit all receipts by April 30th, 2013 to claim your money for the 2012 plan year. Any money remaining in the plan after April 30th, 2012 is forfeited. Once you have elected your amount to redirect for the plan year, the only way it can be changed is if you have a qualifying event. In the event that you are eligible to make a change due to a qualifying event, you must do so within 30 days of the qualifying event. Examples of qualifying events include marriage, divorce, birth of a child or an adoption, or change in job status. Receiving your reimbursement is quick and easy. To receive reimbursement on unreimbursed medical expenses, you will need to complete the Section 125 expense voucher and send it to our benefits department. The reimbursement form must be accompanied by a receipt or explanation of benefits indicating the name of the provider, date of service, type of service, your cost of the services, and for whom the services were provided. Canceled checks are not permitted for reimbursement. To receive your reimbursement for dependent care expenses, again, complete an expense voucher and send it to our benefits department. The reimbursement form must be accompanied by a receipt from your daycare provider indicating the provider, the date of service, description of service, your cost for service, and for whom the services were provided. Claims are processed weekly. If you submit claims by 12 p.m. on Wednesday, you will receive reimbursement on Friday. If a claim is received after 12 p.m. on Wednesday, the reimbursement will occur on the following Friday. You can find forms and additional information on our website www.zeniumhr.com and by clicking on the login at the top right hand side of our homepage. Zenium also offers the convenience of a pre-funded benefits card that is attached to your Section 125 account. The card may be used for qualified medical expenses at qualifying merchant locations that accept MasterCard. This eliminates your need for providing out-of-pocket expenses up front since the money comes directly from your account. Your card may also be used for co-payments or co-insurance for eligible health-related expenses, prescriptions, and eligible over-the-counter products at participating merchants. You cannot use your benefits card to pay for dependent care expenses. Because your Section 125 plan is an IRS-regulated plan, you should save your receipts for the purposes of the IRS. In addition, Zenium may need to obtain copies of receipts to verify eligibility of expenses and to comply with the IRS rules if the merchant has failed to process your purchases appropriately. The cost of the card is $1 per card issued, and there is a $1.50 per month fee deducted from your paycheck each month. 
Whether you participate in the benefit card plan or not, you can always check the balance of your Section 125 plan by visiting www.benefitpaymentsystem.com and establishing your account. Employees should complete the 2012 Section 125 enrollment form and return it to the Zenium Benefits team before December 23, 2011. Eligible employees that would like to have their portion of the group health insurance premiums deducted from their paychecks on a pre-tax basis should initial next to number one health insurance premiums on the enrollment form. Eligible employees who would like to participate in the medical flexible spending account under bullet number two should enter their annual election amount for 2012 and divide it by the number of pay periods. These elections will be deducted from employees' paychecks on a pre-tax basis evenly throughout the year. Eligible employees that would like to participate in the dependent care flexible spending account should enter their annual dependent care election amount under the dependent care flexible spending account option number three on the form and then divide the election amount by the number of pay periods to determine the per pay period deduction amount. Eligible employees who do not want to participate in the medical and dependent care flexible spending accounts should mark a zero under the annual election amounts. An employee signature is required at the bottom of the form. If you have not received your Section 125 election form, you can access the form on the Zenium website at www.zeniumhr.com. That's www.xen iumhr.com. Once on the site, please click on the login button on the top right of the form, and the enrollment form is posted under the Benefits Forms section. For further questions, please contact one of our benefits specialists for questions regarding your Section 125 enrollment or to make a claim for reimbursement.